I admit I've been slacking on my Blender 3D tutorials, and I hope to do uh, a lot more of them soon. And I've been—I promise I've been working on some stuff for you guys. Just have had so much going on with uh, learning new stuff to teach you with my Nokia 900 and the Arduino board. Anyway, enough excuses. Uh, I want to go back to a tutorial I did a while ago on doors for my uh, 3D uh, third-person shooter uh, in Blender, and uh, a viewer. Groka123, hope I'm saying that right, suggested a better way of doing the doors. So, if you go to this video, you can download the original uh, Blender file, which looks like this. And you'll see that we have a lot of stuff going on down here. We got three sensors, three controllers, and four actuators. Uh, and we're actually going to get rid of, well, let me show you what it does first off. I'm going to hit P up here, and you can see that when I move my character around, when I move up to the door, the door opens. But after a few seconds, the door will close and push me out of the way, uh, which is great if that's what you want. But we're going to do this simpler way and what I would consider a better way. Thank you, uh, Groka123, for this idea. Um, basically, we're going to keep the sensor of uh, near, but we're going to change the reset from 2 to 10. So basically, when we get within uh, a distance of 2 units, um, it will... I don't know what units, but two, it will open the door, and then when we get away from the door, uh, 10 units, then the door will close again instead of being on a timer. Now another thing we need to change is our IP over here. We're going to change that from play to flipper. So basically when we get close, it's going to play the animation one way, and then we, when it resets, it's going to reverse the animation. So let's hit P, see how the game goes now. I'm going to walk up to the door, and you'll see as long as I stand here, that door will stay open until I get 10 units away. So here we go, there you go. Simple enough. So that is a simpler way of doing doors and quite frankly, I think a better way. Thank you, Groka123. Thank you to all my viewers. I'll post uh, this new blend file uh, in the description of this video. And for the original video on doing the doors, which you'll probably need for the basics if you haven't watched already, is my Blender 3D Game Engine Tutorial Part 4, Doors. And uh, go there, watch that video, and then see how I made the changes that you just watched. And if you want, go to filmsbychris.com, and you can click on uh, Game Programming, Third Person Shooter here for a list of all my videos uh, in order of the third person shooter in Blender. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.